All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another great edition of LS PDFR. Uh, I literally just was recording uh, some episodes back to back. Uh, as I ended the last episode, um, we had a call come through uh, through dispatch. We have a possible suicide jumper, so we're going to go ahead and assist with that in the midst of our uh, traffic patrols today. So we are going to go ahead and respond code 3 to this one and try to get there and uh, assist with the, uh, the suicide jumper. We're just trying to clear these intersections here to make sure we're not going to get into any sort of an accident ourselves. Looks like ambulances are just now responding as well. Alright, so it looks like the uh, jumper is just uh, just up ahead here. Wow, the cop's not even going to pull over for me. Alright, so it looks like uh, the situation is just right up here. So we're going to go ahead and cut the sirens. We're going to climb up onto the curb here. We'll cruise around like this. Where's the jumper at? Oh, the jumper's behind us, actually, so we're going to flip our cruiser around like this. And they are right there, as a matter of fact, so we're going to go ahead and put the spotlight up there on them. Alright, so, another thing, I do apologize if you hear my dog snoring. They are sleeping underneath my desk again, and they're extremely loud. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, it's about time you got here. You need to find a way to reach up there, and... Try to persuade him not to suicide. Good luck. Okay. I love how they don't give you a whole lot to work with here. So we've got to find a way up there and try to persuade him not to suicide. Okay. What about back here? Is there a ladder or anything back here we can climb up? Uh, I see some stairs back here. Oh my gosh, shots fired. All right, I'm hoping that this is the right way. Oh, there's the jumper right there, as a matter of fact. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Mike with the Los Santos Police Department, how you doing today? Um, I want to help you. Tell me what I can do to support you. You're a real psycho. You're not alone in this. Your family is with you. Dude, you're a freaking psycho. You're a real psycho, you know that? <laughs> no. All of you are the psychos. Alright, you know what? Uh, you know... You don't have to do this, but, you know, you're, uh, you're totally useless, okay? Um... <laughs> I like the dot dot dot. Uh, you'll get better, I promise. The way you're feeling will change. Uh, I promise uh, you the way you're feeling will change. Trust me, dude. Once you jump, you won't feel anything anymore. So. That shook me up. Don't do it! This is so bad. Dude, okay, you know what? You know what? Dude, I'm warning you. Stop! Stop! Urgh. He decked me twice and knocked me out? And he had brass knuckles? Wow! You know what? I should have freaking made that dude jump. Wow! Where the heck is... Where was that call? Oh, it's just actually down the street here. I gotta, uh... I gotta get back to that call. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta run down the street. 
Don't mind me. Wow, that guy clocked me twice and knocked me out. Maybe he was upset that I was calling him useless. That might have been that might have been what it is. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Pardon me. We gotta run back to our call here, because our car is still down there, and, uh, yeah. You know, the, uh, local ER is really probably getting annoyed with how many times I'm starting to, you know, to head into there. Luckily, we weren't too far from the call, so we gotta report to the commanding officer that they, uh, did not suicide, and that they punched me twice and knocked me out, and then I just recovered from the hospital. So let's go make contact with the, uh, with the commanding officer here. Oh, this person. Sorry. Wrong person. Hey, how's it going? That didn't went very well. No, that didn't went very well at all. Okay, everybody clear the scene. We are code four. No further units required. <laughs> Alright. We're code four. So, yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, that didn't went very well at all. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our uh, our normal patrol and duties in the uh, Metro Los Santos area. So <laughs> can't believe that guy like straight up decked me twice and knocked me out cold. That's terrible. All I was trying to do was just tell the poor guy he was useless and, you know, he could just jump and we'll clean it up. You know, that's the least we can do for him. <laughs> I was just messing around with that one. Normally, I'm pretty professional with my uh, with my duties, but that one was uh, I just couldn't resist. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, make a left here. We're uh, at Vespucci Boulevard. We're gonna kind of head into the other parts of our uh, Metro Los Santos here. So, whoa. I'll go ahead and make a right over here as well. This might have been a one-way street. I do apologize. If it was, it was a one-way street. This is also a one-way street. I need to learn my streets as an officer. These are all one ways. Oh, snap. That car just ran that red light and then that uh, ambulance ended up hitting him. So we're going to go ahead and initiate a stop and he just ran another red light in front of me let's go ahead and uh initiate a stop on this guy here once we uh, get the ability to suspect license plate zero two david lincoln zebra seven zero six a possible stolen vehicle see this one's coming back as uh, stolen as well johanna d top i gotta remember that Okay, that was the thing I didn't do last time. So it's coming back as registered to a Johanna D top. All right, let's go make contact with the driver real quick. Driver seems fidgety. How's it going today, sir? Uh, the reason I stopped you is you ran two red lights back there at those cornering sections and then you cut off an ambulance, which actually clipped the backside of your vehicle here. So, uh, you're driving quite recklessly, so if you've got a driver's license, Hi. registration, and proof of insurance, uh, if you could provide that for me, I'd appreciate it. Alright, uh, Mr. Raskrov, go ahead and sit tight for me. So, he's coming back as not the, uh, the registered owner here, so let's go ahead and... Dimitri Raskrov. So he is in fact wanted by the LSPD in the flat, and he's not the registered owner of the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, draw our weapon here. We're gonna go ahead and ask him to step out of the vehicle. All right, Mr. Raskroff, if you could do me a favor and uh, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Um, as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, place you under arrest because you do in fact have a warrant and are wanted by the uh, LSPD. So come on back here for me. All right, Mr. Raskrov, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pat you down, make sure you don't have anything uh, dangerous on you. Found some shaved keys. Well, that would explain the uh, stolen vehicle. All right, so come on back here and uh, step into the back of my uh, patrol car for me. Can't wait to meet 
Get in the car and behave. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's breathalyze him real quick and make sure he doesn't have anything on him as well. So he doesn't have anything, so I can't charge him with any of that as well. So, all right, go ahead and sit tight there for me. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and get him a, a prisoner transport over here. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest in Pillbox Hill. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and search this vehicle and see if there's anything illegal in it. And then we'll go ahead and call the insurance company and get it back to the rightful owner since it was coming back as stolen. He obviously had shaved keys on him. Alright, so uh, nothing's coming. We're not really finding anything in this vehicle yet, so it might just be a, a quick turnover to the insurance company. Nice. Used needles. Yummy. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, let's see. We don't want to uh, have him follow. Let's see. Vehicle manager and insurance company. All right, so the insurance company has been notified. Uh, they should come out and uh, retrieve this vehicle for us today to get it back to the rightful owner. We've got a wanted felon on the loose in uh, Pillbox Hill. Suspect is on foot. All right, so we've got an escaped prisoner. Copy that. Approach with caution. All right, so insurance has just came and uh, picked up the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and respond. We've got a, a prisoner that has escaped that's in our uh, district over here, so we're going to go ahead and respond to this call. Alright, so that vehicle was picked up by the uh, Moore's Mutual Insurance. So we're going to start patrolling this area. <clears throat> we're looking for our escaped prisoner. He's obviously going to be wearing... Um, most likely an orange jumpsuit, <clears throat> I'm assuming. We've received a tip on where the few There he is right there. Sir, stop, stop, stop. You know what we're going to do? Whoa, where's my vehicle going? I was even pushing that way. Nope, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't climb the wall. Okay, he tripped. Let's get the taser out. Stop, sir. I'm warning you. Stop. All right, dispatch, uh, we're heading, uh, uh, we're just on the uh, side of northbound Interstate 5 via Speechy Boulevard. I've got the suspect in sight. Stop! Stop! I meant to tase him. I meant to tase you. I meant to tase you, dude. I'm so sorry. Don't make me shoot you. I will get you an ambulance for that, I promise. I so thought I had the taser out. I'm so sorry. All right, dispatch, we've got the uh, suspect in custody. Marcus Banks. Roger that. Suspect apprehended. Did not mean to just shoot the guy in his, uh, in his, uh, abdomen. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Mr. Banks, uh, go ahead and, uh, get down there for me. We're gonna go ahead and patch you down, make sure you didn't acquire anything. We're also gonna radio in for our, look at that squat. Suspect for a suspect placed under arrest in Little Soul. Check it out. Roger. Oh, look at that. There's your prisoner transport. You're going back to jail. I'm probably increasing your sentence for that one. All right. So, he's going back to jail. That was actually a pretty good uh, pickup there. Available for calls. Yes, we are. Okay. Go back to our squad car and continue our patrol. That actually worked out pretty decent for us. Not too bad. Escaped prisoner. Um... I accidentally shot him in his abdomen, but he'll get patched up and then, you know, put back in jail. So, no harm, no foul. <laughs> Marcus Banks is going back to jail, uh, now with a gunshot wound to his abdomen. <laughs> uh, but, you know, accidents happen. I'm human. I meant to tase him, accidentally shot him. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, we're going to wrap up this uh, patrol of our LSPDFR. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed another great edition. Um, these past two episodes have been very, very good. I like the fact that they're not just guns blazing, terrorist activity. Just been doing some standard uh, traffic routine traffic stops, and everything has been going actually pretty decent for us on these next two uh, patrols. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next patrol.